Hi, my loves. Thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on food that's going to help our skin. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before I get into this video, I wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you are new here, my name is Bridget. I do skincare videos, makeup videos with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to me. I'd love to have you join the family. All right, now that we got that said, I wanna talk about some foods that are really good for our skin that's really going to um, slow down the aging process and not speed it up. And let's be real, you know, we all age. We're not going to be here forever. But while we are here, we want to have the best skin possible. We want to live our best life possible. So I'm going to talk about some foods. And, you know, historically, you know, I mainly talk about skincare and things like that. But how we treat our body, what we put into our body is just as important. And I really want to focus on inflammation. And you all know that inflammation can wreak havoc on our skin. And anytime that we have a, an attack on our skin by free radicals, then inflammation occurs. And you may ask, what exactly are free radicals? And I did a video on this some years back. But free radicals are just basically looking to steal an electron from a stable molecule and you have the stable molecules on your skin. So when the free radicals come, they're missing it. They take yours and then that is what causes the aging process. That's what causes it to speed up. So whether we're eating foods that have a lot of free radicals or whether we're in an environment that have a lot of free radicals, those are the type of things that can affect our skin whereby making us look older than, we're than we are supposed to. So I thought I'd talk about some foods uh, that actually kind of help with inflammation or provide lots of antioxidants and minerals. And when you pay the skincare with the food that's only going to make our skin look that much more better is that right that much more better that's going to make our skin look better <laughs> so anyway let's get into the first one the first one that I want to talk about is olives all right so this is just a, a jar of olives that I happen to have in my refrigerator I have these are black olives and I also have green olives and when I eat my olives I like to pair them with the little cherry tomatoes and you may be thinking ooh, <laughs> but anytime I'm craving something salty I just elect for these. Olives have a lot of um, antioxidants, really good for the skin, and it's going to provide a lot of protection. So if you pair this along with a good skincare routine, your skin will be set. Olives can be used in so many ways. You can put them in your salad. Uh, you can put them on your pizza. You can just pop them in your mouth, just like I do. You know, there's so many ways that you can eat olives, but olives uh, probably, to me, in my opinion, I think olives probably have more antioxidants antioxidants or more health benefits in regards to the body. So if you're looking to add an additional food, um, you might want to check olives out. These are so tasty. And you know what? I think I like the black olives better than the green olives. The, but anyway, the jury's still out on that one. All right. So the next up is chia seeds. Okay. And me and my daughter, we go through these uh, really quickly. And you know what I like about chia seeds, these are black chia seeds. Um, what I like about them is that you can't taste them, so it's like you can pretty much add them to whatever and it's not really going to affect the taste. At least what I've noticed, I haven't tasted them. Really good for um, inflammation and um, preventing that because remember, we want to keep that down in order to preserve our skin as long as possible. Or preserve, I think that's a bad word. Um, uh, preserve, I think that's an inappropriate word, um, but to better take care of our skin, simply like that. But let me know if you've tried the chia seeds before, and if so, do you like them? How do you eat them? And since you've been eating them, uh, what type of health benefits have you seen? All right, so next up I have our beets, and beets are delicious. I grew up on beets, okay? We ate beets all the time. This is another one that's going to help with inflammation, and this is all also really good for a pre uh, workout like once you like if you take beats 90 minutes or so before your workout it will help you be able to I guess the word is stamina it's going to help you be able to go a bit 
a bit longer without tiring out but beets are so delicious if you eat beets let me know how you eat them you know as far as me i can just kind of eat them right out the can because they are so so good um i grew up on it love beets if you have never tried them definitely check them out and you know as far as the benefits there's so many benefits with beets that this would this is the type of food where you know along with the olives that you could just kind of bear it <laughs> and just go ahead and eat it just because of all of the good health benefits all right so next up is ginger and i have some ginger here and this i really like ginger it has like a sweet spicy taste to it and you can kind of i like to slice it up really thin and sometimes i'll just eat it like that or i might uh put it in water and boil it or you know just kind of eat a little bit of it with some rice there's so many different ways but this is excellent for inflammation and it's got so many other health benefits to it and y'all just remember the foods i'm going to talk about they could be incorporated daily just as a snack as you go and again with you incorporating foods uh, that are going to help with inflammation reduce that which in turn is going to have your skin looking better plus having a really good uh, skincare routine plus other things you know I'm going to get into all that other stuff but you'll really be able to see a difference um, it's just a matter of you know discipline and have I mastered that no I haven't mastered it no, would I like to master it? Yes. Do I eat these foods? Yes. My problem is I, I, I just kind of tend to eat too much of it. But anyway, I digress. If you like ginger and um, you have different special ways that you cook it, let us know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. All right, next up, uh, please don't say yuck. Please don't say gross. Please, please, please. But sardines. Yes, ma'am. Sardines. Sardines good for inflammation you know you don't want to eat it you know too much of it but these are really good for inflammation surprisingly sardines you know they they you know people may think oh yeah uh but they're they're a tasty little snack really low on cows you could kind of get a can like this and maybe eat half a can and some um wheat crackers or or if you do eat whatever kind of crackers just have a couple and let that be it but sardines excellent for our inflammation let me know if you eat sardines or if you just kind of think any kind of fish is disgusting i personally like fish i like seafood um yeah i like i like that love it all right so next up is avocados and at my grocery store they just make an avocado dip and it it has tomatoes in it and the avocado and that's it i think they put a jalapeno in here and avocados provide lots of antioxidants which in turn is going to really help your skin this is really good um i typically like to eat them with chips i eat it sparingly um you know as a little snack i might eat a corner of it and then a couple hours later, I might eat another little corner and then that's it until the next day because we all know that avocados can be very, very fattening. And then the last one that I want to talk about, I don't have any of them, uh, but walnuts. Walnuts are good. Walnuts are really good in brownies i love walnuts in brownies let me know how you eat walnuts now walnuts are very very fattening so you kind of gotta i'll eat them but i just don't keep a lot of them in my house because i like them and i can see myself eating a lot of them and you know things just getting out of control things are already out of control <laughs> but that would just be to you know add fuel to the fire but walnuts are really good for inflammation if you eat walnuts, let me know. I know you can add them in your uh, in your cereal or in your salad, or you can eat them solo. Uh, just let, let us know how you eat your walnuts. So that's it, short and sweet. Those are all of the foods that will help our skin, either by providing lots of protection through antioxidants or by preventing or slowing down inflammation. All of these are good. Let me know if you eat any of these. Also, let me know what you're eating to address inflammation and also what you're eating uh, that has lots of antioxidants in it. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.